there's a fly flying around and I'm going to absolutely burn this whole shed down just to stop this fly. Hello again YouTube. Main studs in an engine are kind of like the butter in your sandwich. Without them, all the shit inside just kind of falls out. So today we're going to be installing these ARP main studs into this block that I painted with a rattle can to make it look nice. So if you're ready to watch me get covered in lube, don't click away. So when we talk about main studs, we're specifically talking about these bolts here and here. They're responsible for holding crankshaft inside your engine during operation. If these fasteners were to fail, it would basically allow one of these top caps to come detached from the rotating assembly and basically turn your engine into a grenade, like this. When we talk about replacing these with ARP studs, we are specifically going to be removing these and replacing every single one of them with a stud and nut, whereas the factory OEM ones are just a bolt. So straight away you can see the most important part of the entire build is right on the top. Each one of these stickers is worth at least 100 horsepower. Removing the packaging reveals the real goodies though. Lube. Underneath that you then have the studs, the nuts and the washers. Everything required to install this in the block. So you might notice here that I'm actually talking down the factory head studs. Now this is because I wanted to measure the bores to check whether they deformed when I installed the ARP head studs. This is an important measurement in an engine because this basically defines how tight or how loose the shell bearings are around the crankshaft. So what I'm doing here is I'm measuring in a cross pattern to make sure the measurements don't differ up, down, left and right. This would show deformation. After I check these measurements on both ends, we're then going to move on to installing the ARP studs. Remember to always forget which drawer you keep your allen keys in. This ensures you have to check them all before proceeding. scares me. Once we'd installed the main caps, I then repeated the exact same measurements with the ARP main studs. Thankfully I found the measurements were within half a thou of the original head studs. This means the main caps haven't deformed any more than they already had with the factory head studs. And this means I can progress with putting the rest of the engine together without having to worry about it being line board. So there you have it. We learned that with ARP studs in this specific block, I potentially don't need to get it line board, 
which is good news for me and potentially bad news for the engine because it means it's going to get abused much sooner than it previously thought. So stay tuned to watch the rest of this engine assembly in future episodes and I promise at some point in the future it will go in the car and hopefully make power. But for now thank you for watching. This fly is still buzzing around like it has been this whole episode. I'm going to go burn my shed down to get rid of him. I'm going to do it. I don't know why you're still watching really. This is the end of the video where you, you click off and go and watch a different video. I've got to tidy with this mess up that I've made. But that's for me. That's a me problem. And that fly's still here, right? I'm going to get the fly. See you later. See you next time.